Gail Kim has a tough task tonight. Gail Kim has to step inside of six sides of steel against two members of the Dollhouse. Marty Bell and Jay, this knockouts match is next. TNA Impact Wrestling is taking you ringside for a summer lineup that's scorching hot. Everybody get up! With blazing head-to-head -head matchups. EC3 for Jay. And raging hot rivalry. Do you want to see that? Surround yourself every Wednesday night. Big night here on Destination America. With sizzling body slaps, a hotter than hell summer starts with in your face action. DNA Impact Wrestling is all new all summer long. Next weekend, starting Fridays at 8, exclusively on Destination America. Well, it certainly is a historic night of sorts here tonight on Impact Wrestling for the first time ever. The TNA World Heavyweight Champion, Ethan Carter III, defends against the King of the Mountain Champion. From Global Force Wrestling, my guest at this time, PJ Black. What an opportunity tonight. What's up, JB? First week, King of the Mountain. Week two, PJ Black becomes TNA World Champion. Now, EC3, I know that you're going to try and get out of this match somehow. I know you know how to play this game. Some kind of master politician. But do the right thing. I dare you. Everybody knows that you should always bet on black. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You want to know who you are to me? You're a dead man. You're a thief. Just like Jared, you took what belongs to me. Well, I'm done. Done letting people take from me, PJ. I'm doing the taking. I'm going to take what I want, when I want, from who I want. Look in my eyes, Mr. Black, and you tell me you think you can stop me from taking? I'm going to take. I'm going to take. Sexy. Powerful. Strong. Athletic. The TNA Wrestling Knockouts. A winner will be determined by pinfall, submission, or escaping the cage. Introducing first the team of Jade and Marty Bell, the Dull House. Let's go back in time a little bit. Terrence Terrell recruited Marty Bell and Jade to become the Dow House when everyone thought that Terrence couldn't retain her championship against Awesome Kong. Out came the Dow House. Terrence survives. Terrence starts going after Gail Kim a little bit. Inside, six sides of steel, Taryn Terrell would break the ring finger of Gail Kim. Taryn Terrell and the Dow House would manipulate that situation. The story will continue after this. a couple of weeks ago when she would face all three members of the dollhouse but Taryn Terrell ran out of the impact zone ran out of Orlando ran out of Florida seeking higher ground Gail would defeat Marty and Jane but Gail Kim wants to get her hands on Taryn Terrell has that opportunity here tonight at turning point inside six sides of steel well, as I said before, Josh, when it comes to the knockouts, Gail Kim is the knockout of all knockouts. She's the best female wrestler there is in the world today. But she's in the ring right now with the dollhouse. She's inside six out of steel, and this can't be good for her. Only great for the dollhouse. Taryn Terrell told Marty and Jay last week, Gail Kim will never lay a finger on me. I want you two to finish off Gail Kim once and for all at turning point inside six sides of steel. And here we go. Look, I agree with everything that you said about Gail Kim. First ever knockouts champion, longest reigning knockouts champion. She's held the title on four different occasions. But how is Gail Kim going to be able to defeat two viable knockouts? 
outs in Jade and Marty Bell inside six sides of steel. I don't know how she's going to do it. I'm willing to bet that she doesn't do it because the dollhouse is a cohesive unit, if you will. But we're talking about Gail Kim. She doesn't back down from any challenge. And right now, she's willing to prove herself yet again. You heard from P.J. Black moments ago, the King of the Mountain champion. P.J. Black certainly wants to go one-on-one -on -one with EC3, and why not? P.J. Black has nothing to lose. He wants to face EC3 for the TNA World Championship. And EC3 has to decide whether he wants to defend the title or potentially be stripped of the championship based on the decision from Dixie Carter. Nice drop kick to the back of Bill Kim, sending Jade into Marty. Now going to work in the corner with some foot stop to the gut, if you will. Nice stop by Jade, baby. And again, in this environment, in six sides of steel, as Jade doesn't go for the cover, that's a choke cold, so referee Earl Hebner will tell her no cover, but there's no disqualifications either. Yeah. And you know, to your point, Josh, with the six sides of steel being up, there's no more running. There's nowhere to hide. Gail Kim has to face the blues, Daddy. She got to face the dollhouse. Well, Gail Kim hasn't been running or hiding at all from the dollhouse. Total elimination-esque from Jade and Marty. It's Taryn Terrell who's been running from Gail Kim. But I see where you're going with this. In, in a match like this, as Marty goes for the first cover, Gail pops free at two. Normally, you try to get someone outside of the ring. You isolate someone inside, but you don't have that luxury in six sides of steel. So Gail Kim at a distinct disadvantage here. Marty, running knee, credit the assist to Jade. And now Marty will assist Jade, rolls through right to the jaw there of Gail Kim in your living room. Jade, cover, shoulders down. Gail pops free at two. Can Gail Kim get back in this match? Find out when Turning Point returns right after this. Oh! The nine on Discovery. TNA Impact Wrestling is taking you ringside for a summer lineup that's scorching hot. Surround yourself every Wednesday night. You want to see that? TNA Impact Wrestling is all new all summer long. Next Wednesday at 9, exclusively on Destination America. Welcome back to Wednesday Night Impact. Welcome back to Turning Point. This is a Six Sides of Steel handicap match. Oh! You never know what you're going to get when you're in the ring with Gail Kim. She makes up maneuvers. She does maneuvers that haven't been seen on this side of the land, Daddy. Gail Kim is true to the game. Gail Kim did what she could. She seized the advantage. That arm bar almost looked like a Ronda Rousey-type arm bar. She just caught Marty in the right way and said, Hey, I got her. I'm going to hook her in and see if I can get her to tap out. She's an innovator. That's why she's the first ever Knockouts champion. That's why she's the greatest ever Knockouts champion. Not only the first ever Knockouts champion, but right now you can go to ImpactWrestling.com and cast your vote for the 2016 Knockouts calendar cover girl. Cover here by Jade hooks the inside leg. Gail kicks out at two. It will either be Gail Kim, Brooke, or Velvet Sky. The big reveal will happen next week right here on Impact Wrestling. And also head to ShopTNA.com right now and get your 2016 Knockouts Calendar Cover Girl poster. Cover by Marty Bell, a kick out there. I'm sure that somewhere in safety, Taryn Terrell is watching. A smile on her face right now as Jade and Marty are in control. Perhaps looking to escape. Six sides of steel and leave the victory. <laughs> Let's make sure they're not trying to escape, they're trying to win. Because I'm sure if they had it their way, they'll stay in there on Gail Kim. But right now, Gail Kim. Gail Kim and Marty trading elbows. Standing up on the top rope. Holding on to six sides of steel. Top rope, Hurricane Rana from Gail Kim. What a move by Gail Kim from the top rope. That was very impressive. So Jade's down. This is smart here by Gail Kim. Go after Marty Bell now. Short arm reversal. Shot to the midsection, and that'll slow down Gail Kim. Marty crawls into the cover, hooks the outside leg, and Gail finds some wiggle room to kick out a two. This is not what we talked about. The, uh, this is not what Taryn in the dollhouse talked about. I didn't talk to him. But, uh, no. Things got to change. They got to change quickly. I'm sure that Taryn had plenty to say throughout the week to both Jade and Marty in regards to strategy in regards to how to defeat, not only defeat, but get rid of Gail Kim once and for all. Gail Kim has been stalking. Gail Kim has been all over Taryn Terrell. Gail 
helped Brooke defeat Taryn to become the new Knockouts champion. Indeed, okay, the girls came to me and they asked me for a little advice, and I gave a little something, I admit it. But right now, the plan is not coming together the way it should. The dollhouse got to stay on Gail. Oh! Under. Oh, no grounding Gail Kim right now. The ground and pound attack not working, and Gail Kim closing in on a victory. If Gail Kim escapes the cage, she'll win, but Look Gail fly. wants to produce more offense. Gail Kim flies off the cage and takes out Marty and Jane. Just poetry, Daddy. Fly through the hell. Wow. Gail Kim wants in the dollhouse. Gail has her choice here. Who should she pin? Marty or Jane? The question is not what will Gail Kim do next, it's what won't she do. Gail Kim continues to fight off both members of the dollhouse. Marty Bell harden to the buckle. And Jane will join her. Gail building momentum. Takes out Jane. Going after Marty now. And now two for one. Bulldog, head scissors, Gail Kim rocking and rolling. The gamble paid off. Ducks the clothesline, rolls through, thinking neck breaker, connects. Gail firing on all cylinders, covering Marty flies into breaking up a two. How, how amazing, how, how startling is this just to see Gail Kim, the type of competitor she is, holding off both of the dollhouse, two very capable knockouts. But again, when Gail goes for the cover, the other member of the dollhouse is there. Nice counter there by Gail, now needs to go for the cover. Both are down. But has the damage been done to Gail Kim? Remember, Gail can escape the cage and win as well. And she might be going for that right now as Gail Kim climbs the cage. It might be the best strategy. She'll never get the cover, as you mentioned before. To exactly. Your Someone will fly in and break it up. What is she thinking? She's asking a fans. I don't agree with this. Gail Kim should have taken the victory. Look, Gail Kim has been frustrated by what the Dow House have been doing. She wants to deliver more punishment. But nothing would strike harder than a victory over Jade Marty and Gail may have just given that up. Maybe not. Sometimes you never let your emotions get the best of you. As Gail Kim splashes both members of the Dow House into the cage. But you can't let your emotions take control of your goal. Gail Kim should have went out the cage, Josh. But her confidence is sky high. Gail Kim felt invincible. She looked invincible throughout this match. But here comes Jade, misses with the missile drop kick. Nasty landing by Jade. Could have tweaked her knee there. And now Gail in front of Jade. Marty misses Gail. Hits Jade. Dowhouse down. And now Marty comes down on Jade's knee and is he defeat time? Marty down. Gail into the cover. And Gail Kim has defeated the Dowhouse. Your winner, Gail Kim. This is what Turning Point is all about. Six sides of steel. Gail Kim with a smile on her face after that performance. Gail Kim should be smiling ear to ear. Gail Kim proves her dominance. Gail Kim has defeated the dollhouse and can walk out of six sides of steel victorious. Terrence Terrell can't be too happy about this job. I'm going to go back to the back and I'm going to holler at him. What's going to happen later tonight? Will EC3 defend his championship? Will he be stripped of the title? It's how we got started here on Turning Point with Jeff Jarrett in control. You can parade around all you want, but I'm going to make this short and sweet. I'm going to go back there and talk to AD. And I'm going to encourage her to call the board of directors. I've still got some ownership stake around here, so they do listen to me. So I, we're going to probably end up giving you two options. One... Be in the main event and defend your title or two to get stripped.